What I didn't know that I didn't know caused my very first startup company to fail. Welcome to Click AI Radio, where you'll learn the secrets to transforming your small to medium business. Grant has been helping businesses transform using technology for over 30 years. Advanced technologies like artificial intelligence have been available only to large companies and advanced technical teams. Grant will discuss how you can use to leverage AI and other technologies to grow your small to medium business. As a gift, Grant is offering his ebook, AI for Sales Growth, at clickairadio.com. Now, here's your host and biz tech geek, Grant Larson. <laughs> everybody thank you for joining this is grant so we started this company i was right out of college and um, as you probably recall I, I turned to my wife and said hey i'm not going to take this secure job i'm, I'm going to go do this uh, this startup company so we headed to chicago and and we started working on this company the focus of the company was to deliver some technology solutions to the healthcare world that's that's honorable right well, as we all know, in the world of all possible knowledge, there's the sliver of things that you know, and then of course there's there's the section of you know the things that you know that you don't know. And then there's this big wedge of the things that you don't even know that you don't know. Well, what we did know was that my main partner, he had years of healthcare experience and tons of connections. So we knew that. All right, and then what we knew that we didn't know was we weren't familiar with the healthcare payer details, right? We were focused on healthcare providers, right? And the solutions around there. But what we didn't know that we didn't know that was the level of investment that these healthcare providers were putting into technical solutions, it far surpassed our ability to support, right? So just a couple of us guys coming in saying, Hey, we're gonna go solve this serious healthcare problem for you. Yeah. Now the other thing that I didn't know that I didn't know was that my partner was unwilling to accept input. He was unwilling to change course and align with the market better. Right. And so that unwillingness to change, that's a common challenge for many SMBs. Heck, it's a common challenge in big companies too. But the ones that pivot, both the large as well as the small companies, that pivot, right, that show some willingness to adjust course with some market input, that's a critical skill set for business survival and growth. So, of course, the key is to be open to change. And there's a few things to consider there. Number one, commitment, right? Make a conscious commitment to be open. Number two, trust. Trust that you're heading in the direction, not that you want to say is right, but you're always heading in a direction of new knowledge, right? Second or third, curiosity. So allow yourself, of course, to experience the curiosity of not knowing, right? Some, sometimes we get uncomfortable with that. We wanna stay safely in the things that we know. But curiosity is actually critical to, to the business pivoting and growing. And then fourth is around freedom, and that's basically the freedom of experiencing something new and unexpected. So getting open to change is a critical part of any SMB. Now, you know, I have plenty of stories of things that I didn't know that I didn't know. One of those was even years before the startup that I did, this was well before college, well before I went into college, I had an opportunity to run a business for a friend of mine and he was gonna be away from his business for a year or so. And so on paper, this looked great, looked like a great deal. He had set up about $100,000 in business contracts. All I needed to do was to fill on those and, you know, keep the profit. Now, the team was small and this was back in the 80s, so everyone had big hair. Anyway, you know, to a young pre-college age kid, this, this looked like a lot of money. So I'm thinking, hey, how could I pass up such a great opportunity? Oh, and uh, by the way, I could use that money later for paying for college. So in my mind, it was a win, win, win. So I told him yes. Well, I got a few weeks into this and uh, he hadn't left yet. And one day I got this pit in my stomach, right? Something just did not feel right. And this gnawed at me for several days. 
So I eventually got some alone time, right? Just to ponder and think about this, right? What is going on? And during that time, I got some clarity and I went back to my friend and I turned down the opportunity. Now, I thought the story would end there. A few months later, he reached out to me and he informed me that that the other business partners that were involved had embezzled a bunch of money and the company went down and uh, and he was tied up in, in legal matters. Now, certainly I didn't know what I didn't know, right? I didn't know that these potential partners were planning to do something like this, right? Right in the middle of when I was trying to make make this decision. Now, in this case, gut instinct, some inner voice, right? Gave me some reason to say, to pause and reconsider, all right? Which I did, of course, and, and I'm grateful for that, right? It didn't tell me of the impending scheme that was about to unfold. But so how we learn about things that we don't know, that we don't know, that tends to vary, right? <clears throat> and sometimes it's got instincts, right? Other times it's some AI insight. We need all of that when we're running our SMBs, right? We need to, to understand and be open to the change of constantly learning and, and constantly not knowing and have that curiosity for that. That's a critical aspect of running our businesses, of course. Well, there's some techniques around this, right? One of those is if you want to practice with your brain, allocate some time on a regular basis to learn something new, right? And so that's literally, it could be set aside 10 minutes a day or whatever it might be. Or maybe it's while you're driving in your car, you're listening to a podcast or whatever it is. Put in some time to learn and to expand what, you're, what you know and what you don't even know that you don't know. Because there's incredible cross-pollination that takes place from other industries into yours. So recently we were working with a group who had been in business for quite some time and they made the statement, they made the following statement, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but they made the statement about receiving some insights from AI. They said, look, um, we know enough to keep the business going. And if we don't know what we don't know, how's that going to hurt us? Uh, by the way, they paraphrase, I'm paraphrasing them. We've been in business 10 plus years. And so, you know, we actually don't need this. We, we already know the business. All right. So in contrast, we were working with another group. Their mindset was different from the beginning. It was more like, hey, what does our business information mean? And what is it that we don't know? And what changes should we make? They were, of course, informed of many things in their sales that were both effective and, and ineffective. And many of the insights were things that they didn't know. And they didn't even know that they didn't know. All right. Well, they approached the insights, the AI insights, much different than the other group. And as a result, they actually experienced a, a different outcome, a great outcome. So here's something to think about. One is find new ways to solve some of your problems by looking at other areas, right? By encouraging or bringing in additional ideas or insights. It turns out back in the feudal days of Japan, the samurai, uh, they were not only warriors, of course, and I'm no expert on this, but I discovered that their mindset and their approach was that death was not to be feared, right? They wanted to die honorably. Well, that's interesting, right? That's amazing. But one of the cool things about them is that they were cultivated in many areas like the arts. So they took classes in calligraphy and bonsai cultivation and tea ceremonies and origami and flowers and painting and so forth. And they, these, each of these areas influenced their fighting skills, right? To ensure that they, they could be this ultimate fighter, right? That ultimately developed them and their abilities as, as a samurai. That's amazing is they tried to live the Bushido code. I'm amazed with those kinds of stories, right? Where they're willing to be open and look outside of areas. So mindset is a key, certainly not only with AI, but with most things. And so in our SMB businesses, adopting a mindset like the samurai, right? To learn from other sources, that's real similar to the AI insights and applying it in your business fight. Hey everybody, Join me on Thursday for a web class to discover what you don't know that you don't know about your SMB. Go to clickai.com slash break the trap. That's break the trap, T-R-A-P, clickai.com slash break the trap. Looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you for joining Grant on Click AI Radio. 
Don't forget to subscribe and leave feedback. And remember to download your free ebook. Visit clickairadio.com now.